Hi there, gorgeous. <laughs> it's orange. It's orange. Happy Frugal Friday to you. How the heck are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> My hair probably has some words for me. <laughs> I ended up picking up the wrong red at Sally Beauty. And the second that I applied it, I thought, oh, shoot. It was like fire engine red orange. Oh, it was 10 times worse than what you're seeing right here. It was a lot darker and it was, uh. So I've been using Color Oops to lift the color out. It's been working really well. I just need one more application of it and then I will be good to go with the next color that I want to use. So yeah, I'm in the middle of transition, so ignore <laughs> this. If you ever make a mistake with hair color, color oops. I'm telling you, I love this stuff. Anyway, okay, that's not what today's video is about. <laughs> in today's video, I am doing a review for you for the Flower Beauty Jet Set Invisible Powder Spray. This is a relatively new release from the company. I think it is a new release. Shouldn't say relatively. And I wanted to try it out because I'm oily to see how it would last. So what I've done is I've shown you an up close application with it so you can see how it applies. I've also done a complete wear test. This is a product that says that you can apply it also in the middle of the day to help refresh the face. So I do show you that as part of this video and I will let you know, is it everything it's cracked up to be? or not. Real quickly, before I get into testing this product for you and showing you the foundation I'm using today and all of that great stuff, I'll talk a little bit about the eyes. I have a new palette from Bare Minerals on today because I am creating about, what's it, one, two, three, four, five, six different looks with six different new eyeshadow palettes that they have come out with. So the one that I use today is the one called Ultra <laughs> Natural. Try reading that backwards in a mirror. But yeah, it's Ultra Natural. It was a very cool toned neutral palette. Simply gorgeous. So that's what's on my eyes today. So if you want to know how to recreate this look, it will be in a video coming up soon. When you see me review these palettes, that's when you'll see the steps involved but it's a really pretty neutral look and on my lashes i'm wearing a style from my lash line which we just got restocked white lie is back yay so i will have those linked for you below if you are interested now for the face today i'm going to apply a foundation that does not wear that well usually in order to test this product because hey it's the best way to test it and for me that is the elf flawless satin foundation so i'll go ahead and apply this this is the flower jet set invisible powder spray looks like that according to the instructions they tell you to hold it six to eight inches from the face and apply it in a sweeping motion and they also say that you can reapply this throughout the day to help with any oil or shine breakthrough we're gonna try all of that but first I'll apply it and we'll see what the spray looks like. Oh, okay. It's got a perfumed scent to it. Ah, a little hard to detect the smell to be able to describe it to you as far as, I can't really figure what the smell is exactly, but it's perfumed. It does have a very, hmm, uh, a scent to it. Okay, I always get so nervous when I'm about to spray things on my face like this. Oh. It's like airbrushing. <laughs> That's what it felt like. All right, well, um, it did mattify everything, and yet it turned my lashes gray, doggone it. Attempt to... <laughs> Maybe you should apply your lashes after you apply this stuff. I don't know. Came off pretty easily. I'm going to take a brush too and try to get some of that residue off. That's a little better. Okay. It mattified my face. I feel like it's got a little bit of a powdery look to it now though. Mm -hmm. And if I come in really close, maybe you can see what I'm talking about, that powdery texture. I typically don't like to see that on my skin. And I'm not sure what it looked like on camera. I'm hoping you could see, you probably could see the powder coming out, but all right, we're gonna go with it today. I'm going to complete my face by taking the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Compact here and do a little bit of contour. So I'm taking the kids to the zoo today and we will be out all day in heat. I'm sure it's going to be like in the 90s. 
So yeah, this is a good time to test this, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of color with the CoverGirl Refined Rose Blush Compact. And then for my lips, I'm going with something very simple, just a gloss, and this is one of the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Gloss in the shade Ascension. Ascension? Yeah, that word. <laughs> By the way, I do not have any primers on my skin today at all. I get often asked, are you wearing any primer while you're testing this? No, I typically don't because I want to see how the product is going to wear usually all by itself. So the only thing on my face was what you saw me apply, the foundation and then the powder spray. So we'll test it. Hi, it has been uh, 12 hours at this point that I've been wearing the full face and Got some shine breakthrough, as to be expected for this point during the day. I did want to film a midday check-in for you, but it just was not possible today, so it did not happen, my apologies. But what I will tell you is that as I was wearing the powder spray at the zoo, I could feel that my face was more matte than it would have been with any other product that I might have used. But it didn't feel like it was sliding off either and it didn't look greasy. So I do feel like that with the heat and the humidity that I was battling today, it was hot. I, my face looked really, really good after I got back in the car and I wish I could have shown it to you, but I am not even kidding you when I say that I left the zoo with a four-year-old in the back seat screaming, kicking the seat. Yeah, it, it was oh, it was a very challenging day today, so I didn't want to subject you to that. I mean, gosh, I didn't even want to be subjected to it. <laughs> it's one of those times when you just have to sit down and laugh. If you don't, you're just, <laughs> you're just gonna break down and cry. Praise the Lord for the patience that he has given me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, so I did want to go ahead and apply the powder spray again now that I have the shine breakthrough because it does say that you can mattify throughout the day, reapply as needed to refresh. I wanted to see how that would look. So let's try it. This is my before. Ooh. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and spray it. I am telling you, it's like using one of those airbrush machines. It's so cool. Okay, so I would have kept filming, but I had to change my SD card because it was full. That is what it looks like with a little bit sprayed over the top. I'm going to spray a little bit more just to see. Well, it's not bad. It really isn't. And if I come in close, you can see that like white powdery. That's the only thing that's kind of throwing me off about it is that it does have like this white powdery look to it. I'm going to apply a little bit less on this side to see if that helps, but up close, that's what it looks like in the reapplication. It doesn't really add any telltale signs to my skin other than that white cast and that concerns me a little bit from the standpoint of someone with a deeper complexion compared to mine. How this might come off, it could look very ashy. So just to make you aware. All right, so it does, yeah, okay. I think I see what the issue is. If you apply too much, which is what I think happened over here, then you get that white powdery look but I didn't apply that much on this side. It still mattified it. And I still have a little bit of dewy glow right there left, but it's not as intense shine breakthrough as, as it was when I first came on camera. And it looks more natural. And I'm not seeing that powdery white texture on the skin. And if I come in closely to compare the sides, you see there, and then you see there how it's like too much right here. So I think that may be the key with this is less is definitely more. And I also think that holding it further away from your face is 
one of the tricks with this. So this is one of those products that I feel like you would need to practice with a little bit. I mean, it took me a couple tries to get it, obviously, <laughs> but I really like it. I liked how it felt today as I was wearing it. I didn't feel like I had to babysit my face and I felt like it still looked great after having been outside in the heat and humidity all day long. I wish I could have filmed it for you right when I got back in the car, but we won't go there. And even looking at it now with having the little bit that I applied to mattify the skin with that shine breakthrough, I think it looks really doggone good. So would I recommend this? Absolutely. I think it's worth trying. I'm pretty impressed with it. And if it's something that you've been considering or interested in, I think it's a pretty good product to try. Let me know if you've had the opportunity to try it out. Would love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you are interested in it, I will have it listed and linked for you below in the description box. Thank you for being here, for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. <laughs> okay, so I just filmed my thumbnail, and yeah, that's literally what it is. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, you know what? You could actually do this too. Hey. That's not a bad way to do it, huh? Oh, learn something new. Blend it in with a beauty blender. <laughs> Look at that. And that looks great too. Well, I'll be doggone. Hmm. I learned something new by accident.